Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own pocket monsters. This is a quick and easy pattern that even a beginner could do. So let's get started. We'll talk about supplies first quickly. Uh, I picked out this fun red heart yarn. I got this at Walmart. This is a 4M worsted. And I love how it looks and it usually works it to there being at least two or three different colors in each of the little monsters. And beyond that, just a little bit of white and black for a worsted weight as well. We're gonna need two hooks. So I have a three and a half and a four. Four is to make the monster and some of the little parts for the monster are the smaller three and a half. A nice yarn needle. Scissors. Safety eyes of choice. Uh, I'm using these little anime ones. I got these off Amazon as well. Um, I have these clippers here that I use to trim up the back of the safety eyes. If you have something like pliers or whatnot, that would also work. And also a lighter. So another method of securing the safety eyes. All right. So with your larger crochet hook, you're gonna grab a stitch marker and we're gonna start by either doing the magic ring start or I like to do the chain two and then work six into the second chain from the hook. I got four, five, and six. After you do that, that is your first round completed. Pull this tight. And now we're going to make six single crochet increases. We're going to start at our first one. And that is making two single crochets. So one and two. You place your stitch marker in the first stitch of the row. And then we're going to do that five more times. So. Yarn over, pull through two loops. That is your single crochet. And do that one more time into the same hole. So single crochet, single crochet, and to the next one, single and single. Go to the next one, single and single and then we see we have one left so single and single so you've just finished round two you've put two single crochet in each stitch of the round which is going to work out to 12 single crochet stitches take your stitch marker out and we're going to start round three so you start by making an increase in the next available stitch. Place your stitch marker in the first stitch you made and then a single crochet. You want to repeat the increase single crochet five more times until you make it to the end. So we're going increase Oh. and single crochet in the next increase 
single crochet in the next increase single crochet in the next increase single crochet in the next and one more time increase single crochet in the next so you have just completed round three we have 18 stitches around now for the next three rounds you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 18. Always start by making your first one, placing your marker, and okay, so start with round four, so we're just one SC in each stitch. So this is round four done. So we're gonna do the next thing, or the same thing for the next round. Round five, make your first SC, mark it, single crochet around, and 18 we've just finished the fifth round and we're going to repeat that one more time for the sixth round make the first single crochet mark it and work your way around Coming to the end of round six. So we've got the head started. Um, right now, before we go into the next round, take a moment to pull this tight, your inner tail. And I make a couple tight little slip knots. And then trim it off just so it's not in your way. And now we're going to hop right into the seventh round. And here is where we're going to make the arms. Make your first single crochet. One single crochet in the next two. So one, two. And now we're going to be using a bobble stitch to make the arm. And I'm going to go over how to do this with you. You want to work them lightly so they come out on the larger side. So you're going to yarn over, insert into the next available stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. 
yarn over and pull through two. That is the start of the bobble. You want to repeat that four more times until you have six loops. So yarn over, insert into the same hole, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. We've done it twice and we now have three. So you want to continue until you have five or six and then once you have six loops yarn over carefully pull through all six and now the trick to getting this is we're going to make a single crochet we're going to start the single crochet in the next one you see how i have the two loops here now take your middle finger pop it out and now you yarn over and pull through the two loops and they're kind of behind the bobble and you want to pull them tight and that is how you're going to get it to pop now we're going to one single crochet in the next seven one two three four five six and seven now you're going to make your second bobble in the next available stitch. So we're doing a yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through two five times. So one, two, make sure you do it loosely, three, four, and five. You should have six loops. Yarn over, carefully pull through all six, and you're gonna use that same trick. You start your single crochet in the next, middle finger to pop the bobble through, and then you make that first single crochet tightly in behind. Then you're gonna single crochet in the remaining four. This is the back side of your little monster. And the idea is the toy sits flat. You kind of squish them flat. And this gives you the two arms on the front. So now we're gonna continue with round eight. And on round eight, you're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around. Make your first one. Mark it. You're going to work your way around. Just uh, take special care that you work a little more tightly over or when you're passing your bobbles there. Just kind of tighten it up. Work your way around, single crochets. It will be for a total of 18. A little tighter there. And we've made it back the back side of the little monster there. That is the eighth round done. We're gonna turn it around again so you can just see. So we've got a head, we got arms, and a little bit past the face there. So now, it's up to you. You can use the anime style safety eyes, you can use regular safety eyes. You can put as many as you want, as little as you want. I'd say if you're going to do one eye, make it really large. If you're going to do multiple, do different sizes. I, for example, I'm going to use a nice big one. Just a couple rows up, kind of near that. And you choose, like say, for example, the anime eye. 
I'm gonna have the big circle pointing down. And then I choose a slightly smaller eye and we're gonna put it in the same row, a couple visible stitches apart and just kind of set it how you want it, like so. You can put it, you can put another one if you want. It's all up to you. You can custom, this is where you can really get in and customize, but I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go in and put that in. Now I'm gonna show you an optional little step here. Um, first thing, because this is more of a flat toy and it's not gonna have much stuffing in it, you don't want these to end up poking through. So this is where your little clippers or pliers come in. You wanna take a little bit off the top, flatten it down, And then if you want to, you don't have to, you can carefully use a lighter to burn this in place. So don't actually rest your finger on the eye. It'll, it'll actually feel warm, keep it away. But you just basically carefully start melting it till it looks like it's starting to get runny and then take the flat part of your lighter and push it, kind of rub it, push it. And what happens here is it melts down flat and helps so that if the cap here was supposed to, is, would start sliding backwards, it has something else it can catch on so the eye will not come out. Again, this is not mandatory, but it's just another little safety option and it flattens out the back, which works well for this toy. So I'm just going again here, just melting a little bit. And then you flatten it out. Give it a second to cool here. Okay. And so this makes it so that even if you had no stuffing in it, they're not going to pop through. So now you want to decide if you would like to add horns or not. If you want to add horns, you're going to grab your smaller hook and the white yarn. And this is really quick and easy. You just chain two, one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, chain one again, and then you want to pull this bottom end up tight. And what this does is this makes a little kind of like triangle. Grab your scissors. You want to trim and leave a little bit of a tail here and then pull the yarn through. Tighten it up again. So if you want, you can make two, three, however many you want to do. I do two um, for the head. And you can also use this to make a little tooth if you want to have a tooth sticking out of the mouth. So again, chain two, one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, chain one, pull the bottom up tight, trim it off, pull through. So I've got two made and I'm going to quickly just make one more because I think I am going to add the tooth here just so you can see what it looks like doing the exact same thing. Turn it off. Okay. I'm going to show you how I would attach them. Okay. So, this is 
to the first round, second round, I want to pull the left tail down between the second and third round with the crochet hook. Or you could thread it up uh, and use a needle, but I find this is a little quicker. Pull that tail through. And then take the crochet hook back up through the work. Um, so skip the next in between space and then put it here. So you got a stitch between. Pull this down through, tighten them up, and then you just kind of take a look and see if you like the placement. When you're happy with the placement, flip your work inside out and you want to tie this. I just do a couple, so just a simple knot there. And then to secure that, you're going to kind of do like the slip knot with both strands, wrap around your finger, and then you pull this down nice and tight. And then you want to trim off Okay, and then we'll go back and take a look. So that is one. Kind of going to do the same. Only thing to keep in mind is you might want to flip. So just make it so that the point is pointing out. And again, you're going to take your crochet hook up between the second and third row. Pull the right tail down through the head. You're skipping that next little hole and then you're putting here. So hook up through there. Pull through. And then you want to pull both the tails. And just make sure it is where you want it and when it is you're gonna go flip your work inside out tie it again your tight slip knot So now you've got the head, the horns, the eyes, the arms, and we're going to continue onwards with some crochet. We're going to start round nine. And on round nine, you're actually going to go and make the legs. So this is, you're starting with five single crochet. So make your first one, place the marker. And then, so four more, one, two, three, four. The idea is that it's just going to come slightly past where the arm is. So we're making the bobble. So that's your yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull through two. Do that five times until you have six. Um, loops on your hook, so that's two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through all of them, and then do the, the trick here to get it to pop. So you start your single crochet in the next stitch, use your middle finger to pop the bobble forwards, and make your single crochet tightly behind the bobble. And then, you're going to do four more single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to make a bobble in this one. And you see it's just slightly past the arm. One, two, three, four and five. 
I've got six loops, so I'm going to carefully pull through. And then we're going to make, start the ha uh, single crochet, pop the bobble out, make the single crochet behind the bobble tightly. And then you're going to single crochet in the remaining stitches there. So that is the ninth round done. I'm going to show you now what we should be looking like. So here is where if you want to add in any sort of facial expression, this is where you do so. So I'm going to show you kind of the go to I do. So underneath the, the eye here on the right hand side. I'm going to pull through Sorry, we're going to pull through the tooth so that the pointy side is facing downward. Once you have it where you want, tie it in. Same way that you tied the horns in. Trim off the excess. And then we take a look at the work again. Okay, and now you decide if you want to do a mouth. My recommendation is just taking a little black yarn and doing a little line here. I say if you're not going to use the tooth, you could probably do like a V or a smile shape. Um, if you want to make it look grumpy, you could sew in some downwards um, black lines, or you could even do tiny little stripes of blush, if you, like pink yarn, around here if you want to make it look cutesy. For this video, I'm just going to do a very basic little, what I would do for the mouth. So I'm just going to put a little black on the darning needle. And you want to take it up through right next to the tooth. Go over a few stitches. Take it down. And if you want to make it super thick, you would pull it. Uh, you would take this back around. Sorry, one second there. Got stuck on the stitch marker. <laughs> okay. So take it back out and then back down. Tighten it. Take a look again to make sure you like it once you like it. Um, what I do, I flip it inside out. And then lightly make a knot, trim off, leaving a little excess. And this is just kind of like a backup, just to kind of keep it in place. But you don't want to pull too tightly or tie too tightly, because then it will change the look. So I just did it lightly there. Excuse my cat crying in the background. <laughs> Okay, so we're almost done. So what you want to do is you can either take a little bit of yarn or a little bit of fluff. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my excess yarn here that's left over. Um, you need very little fluff or, or yarn tails. To stuff up the center I'm just gonna do this because the idea is that 
the toy is going to be on the flat side so that it could actually fit in a child's pocket as it is called a pocket monster. So here I put a little bit of yarn or you could use fluff would give it more um, squish whereas this gives a little bit of a firm squish. So once you have it stuffed we're going to continue on with the tenth round. So here we're going to be doing decreasing. So to decrease, you insert your crochet hook in the next available stitch and pull up a loop. Insert in the next available stitch, pull up a loop until you have three. Yarn over and pull through all three. Now we're going to place the marker because that was the first stitch. And then you do one single crochet. And then we're going to repeat the decrease and one single crochet all the way around. So pull through, pull through until you have three. Yarn over, pull through both. And then a single crochet. And then you repeat that around the bottom. And you're going to end up with a count of 12. Single, so a decrease, single, oh, whatever, decrease, and single. Now, this is the last point um, if you want to add any more stuffing or yarn tails in to stuff it to do so. And then we're just going to end off here doing six single crochets. So, this is the Round 11, the last round, six single crochet decreases. So one, two, three, four, five. And six, this brings you to the back middle. So what I do is leave a, a decently long tail. You're gonna pull the tail through. And then you wanna pull, You actually you insert your crochet hook through the front loop. Yarn over and pull through and you do that all the way around so hook into the front loop yarn over pull through okay and then once you're done pull tight so if you want to have no tail, you would weave this tail in and out, but I'm going to show you a little trick here. If you insert your hook under a stitch in the center back, yarn over, pull up a loop, chain five, and single crochet back four. This will make a little tail. Once you do the fourth one, pull what's left and either use your crochet hook but or your darning needle. I'd recommend the darning needle. And you want to weave You want to make sure you leave a little bit longer of a tail so that you're not stuck with this. What I have that's really small, that's a little hard to sew with, but it is doable. 
Carefully weave back and forth a few times. This will secure the tail in place and then trim. You leave a little sticking out and use the tip of the scissors. Pop it in. So now we're going to take a look. Here is your mini pocket monster. It's flat, works up pretty quickly. And like I said, you can do different style eyes. You can give it different facial expressions. You can do a tail or no tail. It doesn't have to be flat. You could have filled it really full with stuffing. And if you were to do that, it would sit more like this, which is fine too, because then it would sit. But if you want to go for the pocket monster, very minimal stuffing, nice and flat. And there you have it your very own pocket monster. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, uh, enjoy the tutorial, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.